continuing on uh, on the point of advanced science within the Bible. Uh, it is important to emphasize now that modern science uh, really does say that the universe began, that it began to exist. While there have been and continue to be other cosmological models, the one most all cosmologists hold to today on the basis of solid reasoning and good empirical data is that the universe began to exist a finite time ago. Uh, to hope that this scholarly consensus shall later be overturned with contrary evidence and, and a better model is not to deal with the evidence we now have. And Bill O'Reilly was right to call Richard Dawkins out on this on his uh, uh, program in, in which he was interviewing uh, Richard Dawkins. Uh, naturalism of the gaps, as opposed to God of the gaps, just won't do. It, it is also important to realize that the modern scientific view is modern. The ancient world was essentially universal in its claim that matter, or the world itself, was eternal. Israel denied this, but only on the basis of Genesis, the book of Genesis in the Bible. I wanted to close this section of the cumulative case uh, for the Bible with a familiar quotation of Robert Jastrow uh, from his book, God and the Astronomers. I quote, For the scientist who has lived by his faith in the power of reason, the story ends like a bad dream. He has scaled the mountain of ignorance. He is about to conquer the highest peak. As he pulls himself over the final rock, he is greeted by a band of theologians who, and the theologians have been sitting there for centuries.